five. So once again, I'll configure. We have configured the server using Zential. So here we go for first step to how to create a users and uh, giving the permission, mapping the drivers, folders. So this is my. Once again, I will show you the. Okay. This is the IP, and you have to use the port eight four four three. So, came to login. I will use my username password. And here we go. This is my dashboard of Zential. So you can able to see this feature and all I have enabled. So I'm using NTP, VPN, FTP, DNS, firewall, network. Okay. So in general able to see you have the access to access to Zential through web browser by given my username of from here you can take the backup of this all configuration and in networking part interface I'm using to see the net so DNS gateway service to logs here you get all the logs so I'm using right now Zintel development edition 1.1 not the commercial so this is the user interface so you go, go to manage so this is my server name and here I have created so many users can able to see how many users are there so if you want to add the user means click on user and give add if you want to you add the user or group contact you can add a request user first name will be test and last name just give whatever you want description and the password and the group which you work want to add so next click on add so I don't want to add any users after that if you want to add the user so just come here and click on add group which group you want to add security group or distribution group group name and if you want to add the email also we can add the email and finally this is my system and from here domain admin you can add the room to give the admin access by a given only administrator and server it's my user here also schema admin same i have given Let's click on domain this is my domain controller file server and whichever driver path you want you can just click on that and change and here the one option will come save you can save here also file sharing i have mapped the uh, drivers so you, you can see here <coughs> As a root, I have login. Zential. So see, I'm a root now. I'm in root cd. I have mapped all the directories on home. So I will go home, and here we can see the users and whichever we directory we created. So I will go inside the directory. 
file server here you can see there are three driver drivers d drive f drive e drive so here also you can see the same thing so i have given the path slash home slash file server slash d drive e drive f drive so like that you can create the tag trees also if you want to create if you, if you people are using Zential development edition mate just click on enable the recycle bin if you delete any folders or files means it will come to the default bin so that would be the same folder which you have saved shared the, so I will so here I don't have anything sorry samba or samba you have to add manually so I will show you so add new click on the share name whichever you want and the path whichever path and comment if you want to give the access to the guest access means you can enable the guest also right now I don't want to create any file access so if you if I go to access control here you can add the users see we have a groups also if you create the groups means there will be uh, two three members if you add a lot of members means also no issue you can assign the group and uh, whichever domain you want so right now if you want to add one user here I have 30 users I will pick up one of them and give the permission read only or read and write or administrator and add click on that so right now I don't want to add anything come to DNS which will be default if you want one more domain means you can add it here and uh, setting the IP, host name, mail, exchanger, server, and copy. Firewall is already not at all enabled by default itself. So, for file sharing, come to FTP server. In anonymous access, you should give only read access, not read write. Because if you give read access only, no one can change the file. Uh, and uh, <coughs> can't save anywhere else will give read write default means it will be for your FTP server also for files from my side the suggestion will be only read only access and click on personal directories restrict to people direct and save changes I come to dashboard here you can see so how many are running network firewall DNS and uh, this is the network interface how fast is running kbps and uh, MAC address also been able to see so general I have two users so port will be 8443 same If you guys want me to explain how to install Zential on server, let me do. Let you guys do the comments on my on the video, and I will definitely do one more video for you guys. So right now this is my server I have access to the thank you guys